So basically, my job just strong-armed me into resigning today for speaking out against racism. Somebody, be it a parent, school staff, whatever, reported a TikTok where I was talking about how people need to teach their racist-ass white kids not to say racist shit to black students. So I had to go into a meeting. The guy in there tried to talk about reverse racism and shit like that. Then today they threatened me with a lawyer. Now, I know some of you are going to be like, well, that's what you get for running your mouth. But hear me out for a second. There have been multiple occasions where I've reported issues of racism in the school and not shit has been done. White kids regularly walk around, say the N-word in school. Nothing gets done. There was a theater teacher that uh, casted High School Musical last year and only casted all white students. I had black students come in and tell me how uncomfortable that made them and how angry they were that they weren't able to have an opportunity to be in that production. There's a racist ass bus driver that also was saying ableist comments and shit while driving students that still has their job. I had a black student come to me last year talking about how they were watching the Underground Railroad in school and a bunch of white kids were sitting there staring at her and laughing at her and the teacher didn't do shit. I reported it and nothing happened. And this is just the very short list. I reported all these things and there was no follow-up. So the place that I worked at is more interested in making sure the white parents and students feel comfortable. They tried to say that I need to make it a safe space for all students. Well, guess what? Even the kids that said the racist shit would come talk to me and I would talk them through it and educate them. Now that I'm gone, there's going to be a ton of kids that have nobody to talk to because so many of them that struggled with oppression in school came to me and talked to me because they didn't trust anybody else. So because I choose to use my voice in this way, uh, TikTok is more important than keeping black students safe, period. That's what it comes down to. This place is worried more about their reputation than they are about black students or students of color or the queer students that go to our schools. They want to create a safe environment for everyone but those kids. So I'm going to put my pride aside and do what y'all asked last time. And I'm going to post my cash app here. God, this is really fucking hard. If y'all could spare a dollar or two to help me and my family get by until I get my shit sorted out so that we could all be good, we'd appreciate that so much. If not, I totally understand. If you could share this video, that would be great too. I know the risks that come with speaking the way I do about this issue, but I will continue to use my voice in this fight. And whoever reports my shit, just know you're standing on the side of white supremacy.